Welcome, one and all, to the very sweaty beer review. Here at Little Beer Cave, it's sweltering hot. I've turned the fan off to do this review. I am treating myself to a nice chilled can of Beaver Town and Lurvig's Mad Double IPA, or MAD, which stands for Mutually Assured Destruction. 9.5%. Looks good. I mean, this sort of like was released sort of like like a week or so after. Humanoid came out. If you missed that review, check it out. I did that one as well. Um, so I brought this brought this uh, this week uh, to try now. So it's a couple of weeks old at this point. And Humanoid actually, I thought it was a fantastic beer. It didn't just grab me by the nuts though. So let's see if this one does. I think it's the usual suspects when it comes to the hops: uh, Columbus, Simcoe, Citra, and Galaxy. They've also used Vermont Ale yeast and lots of lovely. Oats and some acidulated malt to boot. So, and as always, stunning artwork, just crazy. Don't quite know what's going on, but it's good nonetheless. Ah, oh, it looks like orange juice. It's uh, looks a bit duller on the on camera there, but it's actually like really vibrant, deep orange, with a nice thin sliver of bubbles just protecting that beer on the top there. The aroma, it is jumping out. It is crazy. So let's get in further, shall we? Dive deeper. Woohoo! Holy crap. Ah, oh, it's making me salivate. That's mango juice on steroids. Getting like a sweet syrupiness. It's almost. It's almost like tinned fruit. It's almost like. You know, fruit cocktail in a tin? That is overload. Getting like really nice, juicy orange. Almost like stings the nostrils. Got a bit of a. Almost like eucalyptus. Or, or menthol, that sort of thing, that sort of like pungency. Wow, God, oh, God I smell that all day. That is, that is through the roof insane. Yeah, it made me absolutely salivate, so I need to dig into this one. Cheers. Yes, yes please. The mouth feels like what I like to call like sort of like rounded. It's, it's silky, it's a little bit chewy. There's quite a subtle maltiness to this one, which is quite nice. It's those oats, it's sort of a slight bit of like sweet biscuit. Very good. But this is just, it's just so, it's just such a nice, lovely, enjoyable beer to drink. You get on this one side, it's heavy on the mango, you get pineapple, a little bit of passion fruit in there. It's got a nice citrus little tang to it. But on the contrasting side to the, all the fruit and the overwhelming tropical ninias of this beer, you get like this nice like, sort of, sort of herbaceous spiciness to it as well. In like cracked black pepper, a bit of like sort of cayenne, some of that sort of like just sizzles on the tongue a little bit, which actually makes it like really nice and balanced. It's not just all fruit, it, that that slight herbaceousness to it as well, which is fantastic. And at nine point five percent, you want to go easy on it, but you're just going to want to smash it. For me, I prefer over the humanoid, but that's just pers personal preference. If someone said, oh. Sorry, we don't have any of this left. You have to have humanoid. I'm not going to go, oh, oh. I'll just go, okay, I'll have humanoid instead. Then. That's literally what it boils down to for if, if you were going to compare those two beers. So that was everything from Beavertown and Lurvig's Mad Double IPA. And I've been Jake, so remember to like and subscribe if you want to. And check out some more videos. Links in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.